All right, in this episode, we talk about in-season training. We talk about glory muscles, and is the mechanics, or is it lifting? Steven, go down here at the at Top Lossy hashtag pitch tip show, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, at Top Lossy hashtag pitch tips, hashtag baseball tips, ask your question, we answer on the show. Hey, you know, we've been doing this for a while. I'm just throwing this out there. If, if you guys would like us to change the format of this, I'm gonna leave it up to you. So post some comments on this video about how we need to change this format. If, if you want things different, like if you want, uh, in, Steven's actually working on a new intro, so we're gonna have a new intro coming up. But if you want like uh, a different way of doing this, if you've got some creative way of doing this, let us know. We've been doing this for a while. It's getting, might be getting old. We need to know, so let us know. Uh, and uh, yeah, keep sending your questions though. Um, so if you don't know already, I'm gonna be in Houston, February 20th, 21st uh, at the Premier Baseball, uh, The Zone and uh, Legends. Um, for those days for a 3 seminar, go to topvelocity.net slash Houston to sign up for one of those seminars. Also, I'll be in Long Beach uh, for uh, the 3X Velocity Clinic, March 26th. If you don't want to come all the way down here for a camp, guys, I'm doing this to save y'all money. Um, it's, it's a thousand bucks for that clinic, only for one day though, um, just because the, the rentals are crazy out there. Um, but you can go to topvelocity.net, Velocity Camp, sign up for March 26th in Long Beach, use the coupon code 3XLB, and you'll get $500 off because it's only one day, but everything else is going to be the same, just like doing a camp here. And that's to save you guys uh, money that are coming from California, so I highly recommend you jump on that. And let's get started today. What's the question? Kodiak Bear 555 asks, I am in season and my schedule is pretty crazy, but I was wondering if there is anything I can do to stay on the path to throwing harder. All right, guys, it's a good question. It really comes down to can I increase velocity in season? Now, it's really not the best way to do it because you're throwing. And here's the thing is, and we're gonna talk about a little bit in the next program too, is lifting's a big part of the off-season training. And the thing is, if you are wearing this joint out, it's gonna compromise what you can lift. Uh, that's why in our off-season programs, we're all drill-based and the drills, because they're so low or high focused, they allow us to throw without putting a lot of stress. Plus, we use the med balls to reduce a lot of that stress too. So we have these great drills to reduce stress we can throw and still work on biomechanics and improve things, but at the same time too, we're not cooked here, so we can go in and put the loads on our body uh, and without you know, our arm being uh, compromised. So um, in, in season, it gets harder to do that because you're throwing a lot. So what are the things you can do? You can really try to focus post-game uh, getting in good post-game lifts. Now, if you're a starter, uh, I would do it right after your your, your game. Uh, you got, what, four, five, six days to rest. And um, it, it's, so it's a lot of recovery there. But post-game, big lifts. Now, if you don't want to be catching the Olympic stuff on those days because your arm's cooked, I understand. So that would be a lot of high pulling or, or clean pulling, snatch pulling, stuff like that. Look at the, the in-season program, 3X Pitching, we have uh, that approach. Um, and hitting those big lifts stimulate a lot of growth hormone, a lot of testosterone, allow you to recover faster, but also gonna promote a lot of that fast switch explosive muscle, muscle fiber. So that could help. That could actually, you know, if you're a guy who um, it didn't have a big off season and you start s slowly progressing that in, following our 3X in season program, building in those big lifts, explosive lifts, um, you'll actually see gains, you'll see gains. Be careful though, it could, it could crush you if you come in too hard. Uh, baby step into that routine, but not halfway through the season, you could start seeing gains because of that form of training. So there is a lifting uh, that will be effective in increasing velocity in season, and that's the best way to do it. And you need to get the 3X in season program to see how we do it. Also, mechanically, um, building in a lot of the 3X drills, you know, improving hip shoulder separation. So, you know, take some of the throwing you're doing in the season in your pins and work in some of our drills. Uh, from the off-season program. Another great chance to 
uh, increased velocity in season. So you could actually, if you're a guy who missed that off season with 3X, take some of those drills in. If, if you really want me to help you with that, get the program, call me, and we'll talk about how to do that. Build some of these drills in, make sure you're hitting the lifts well, and then if you haven't had an off season with us, you will see gains, you should see gains. That'd be the best way to do it. But we gotta do it carefully so you don't over train and, and overuse and, and, and it becomes compounds an issue that might already be there. Uh, but yes, you can definitely do that. It's just not gonna be uh, as effective. You know, I wouldn't say you gain 10 miles an hour. It, something, uh, it might be a little bit less, but it's definitely an opportunity to do it. If you haven't been in our, off-season program. If you've been in an off-season program, no. Your in-season is to maintain and focus on just maintaining and then coming into the next off-season and doing it. But if you're coming in right in the in-season program, uh, that's how I'd recommend you do it. Anything you want to add to it? Yeah, I, I just want to emphasize too, like touch on what Brent's touching on, but just, just beware if you are just hopping into the in-season program. Don't don't just kill yourself because your body, if you weren't doing an off-season program, your body's not conditioned for it. So you're literally just going to kill yourself and just be poo-poo on the field because your body's just torn down. You're going to be tired. You're going to be sluggish. So And you could hurt yourself. And right? you could hurt yourself. Right. You could hurt exactly. yourself because you're throwing so much and then this crushes you and then you're really tired and yeah. now you're really not using your legs and your coach is telling you you got to throw harder and you're whipping your arm. You know, things can go wrong when you, if you come in too hard too fast. That's why you need the off-season program to have four months of time to where you're killing yourself trying to make the gains. Don't try to make those in season. That's not the way to do it. So that's when baseball, eventually it's going to catch on and there, it'll just be a time where there is the off-season where everybody is just lifting and getting stronger, getting bigger, getting faster. But until then, don't just think you can just jump into uh, uh, even in the in-season program, even if you have just our in-season program, and think that you can just do it all and crush it and everything is going to be peachy creamy and you're going to be throwing harder. It, it, you don't have much experience with lifting if you think that's how it's going to work. All right, good question. Next question. Brendan Fee asks two questions. How much velocity comes from mechanics compared to the lifting program? Also, if I use the 3X lifting program, could I also throw in the glamour lifts on off days? Or would it be a detriment to my fast switch muscles? Hey, Brendan, the first part of your question I think is, is a great question. And I'm really excited to answer this. Yes, blows a lot of people's minds, but the mechanical training in the 3X Pitch and Logic program is vital. And I believe it is one of the best out there because it trains the whole kinetic chain and it really teaches you the lower half that no one's probably ever taught you before. But how much, how effective is you just learning that and training it through the drills and the overall ball speed? Very small. Great example is I bring up Mitchell Seawald, even though uh, you know I haven't been with Mitchell in a while. Uh, but Mitchell Seawald has had a lot of success. I think now he's at TCU. Uh, but when we had a lot of uh, success with Mitchell Seawald, if you want to learn who he is, go to my testimonials and, and look at his testimonial. Uh, he came to me first, and the dad, his dad, didn't want to do the lifting. Um, and we just did the drills and we saw a couple we saw like I think he went like 82 to 84 85 maybe 86 so that was just for the drills okay um, but then when Mitchell was still frustrated and said he wanted to do more and I got him to buy into the lifting and he very much did and Mitchell worked very hard in the lifting um, in four months he's touching you know 90 he's 94 touching 95 I think um, it, it was it was amazing. So the lifts is, is really the legal performance enhancement behind it. And of course, you know, our periodization models and, and the way we do it uh, is very important to it working with the drills and they do really kind of work together. So understand if, if we just did the lifting alone, I don't think you'd have the gains that Mitchell made at the end. Um, but if you did them both together, I think that's what I'm saying. That's the best package. Then you get the big gains. But yeah, the lifting is probably gonna be a little bit more valuable than the mechanical training. Specifically, if you're someone coming in who doesn't have a lot of power, strength in your body. Now, if you're someone who comes in, you got a lot of power, strength in your body, you just haven't been taught how to use it, yeah, the mechanics be great. So even to make this question better or to answer it better, it would be, that's going to be specific to what we're working with. On average, we're working on the, uh, the poor athlete, which typically comes in here. We don't have great athletes that come in here. Uh, the, the lifting part is going to be so more valuable to him. Or if he's just a great athlete, then the mechanical part would probably be more valuable um, but to tell you the truth it's rarely that way it's usually they they are average or below average maybe above average athletes that could still benefit from the lifting or definitely benefit from lifting um, but the below average athletes just working on the biomechanics 
is just a, is not a waste of time. It's not just going to have that big of an effect. Um, I think what, I was going to say one more thing that was uh, significant to that, and I probably and I lost my train of thought. Why don't Why don't you take you tackle the next question? Uh, glamour list. About the glamour list. Yeah, man. We do. Have you seen the buys and tries episode where we talk about how David's a little girl? Farm. farm. Yeah, and doesn't have any biceps, but. <laughs> Yeah, we we do the uh, we do uh, buys tries. Um, we build it uh, in. A, a bench press is already in there. Yeah, so like all the the in the episode, with, I'll just recap on it a little bit with the the buys and tries. We talk about how buys and tries are good for arm care and how the bicep and the tricep help protect the UCL with the muscle around it grabbing the UCL to help protect it from injury. So yeah, the glamour lifts uh, you could definitely add them in if you wanted to. We add them in with ours and uh, we love it. Yeah, and I mean, come on, the guys who, Olympic lifters, man, are studs, dude. Mm -hmm. Do we have to talk about glamour lifts? To me, Olympic lifting's glamour lifts. Yeah. Those dudes are studs. They're, they're shredded. They're not fat. They're not thick, unless they just came in as heavyweights. Um, man, there's glamour lifts there. Yeah, but we, we do add in, I think in level two, I put in 21s. Really good bicep work and some tricep work as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, come on. Uh, we all look good in here. Yeah. All of us. We're, I mean, that's what happens when the you jerk know. overhead is what makes you sexy. That's what, <laughs> that's what starts getting you some of that that upper man body that starts looking good. Yeah, it does build those builds those shoulders, those weak pitchers, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I forgot what I was going to say on the next one. Maybe I'll remember on the, the uh, next episode. But that was a good crush, uh, crush, question. good question, Brendan. Um, and uh, if you have a question, go to Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat at Top Lossy Hashtag Chris Chips. Ask your question. We will answer it on the show. Check out topblossy.net, 3X programs, 2X programs, 2X, 3X camps. Come down here, get involved in our programs, learn uh, the advanced training that we do here. We'll take you from the beginner levels and bring you all up. And really take your career seriously. No more crapshoot, right? Let's take it seriously. Uh, follow our legacy, uh, become our testimonial, join the list, uh, and have a great career. See you in the next episode. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Boys! Yeah.